Today's lesson is based on where a cam uh, follower is not on a vertical center line. As to what happens then, you'll notice that here I have 0 degrees and 360. Under normal circumstances, your 0 will be on a vertical line. But it doesn't mean that the question will always be the same. Sometimes they place the cam follower at this position and they say that is your zero. Sometimes this cam follower can be placed at this position here. So in other words, a cam follower can be anywhere. It doesn't change how you draw your graph. The graph will still be the same position as it were if the cam follower was on this vertical center line however what changes is the position of your cam follower which is in this case it is at this generator how this was done we then say the zero goes to the center line first then Place your compass at the center of the camshaft from zero. Scrap an arc that goes to that position. So that's how we get our zero. So that's how we get our zero. So this is where our zero and 360 will be when we complete this. So now what is required from this is that you bring all the points to the vertical center line you still do that as it were in the previous drawings take this take it to the vertical line bring all your points to the vertical center line that doesn't change bring all your points to the vertical center line that doesn't change you complete this with all your divisions take them to the vertical center line let's bring them all the last one is this one here on top it comes there now remember our rotation in this case is a clockwise rotation so it means when we number this we've got to number it in an anti-clockwise direction so that means this becomes 30 60 90 120 because our zero is there so i'm gonna quickly put the numbers here correctly so that we know which divisions goes where Now, we have our numbers done correctly, 0 and 360 there. As you can see now, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240, 270, 300, 330, 360. That's how it's done. So basically now, the 30 line is this line here. So I'm going to take my compass, move to 30, the first line. It's on 30 already. So no need to move. It is on 30 already. Right. Then I go to 60. The next line is 60. There's 60. So 60 goes there and it goes to this point. So that's your 60. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to use a compass. And I'm going to scrub an arc on 60. Look there, that 60 line. So let me quickly move this away. Because we don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, in terms of you using your compass, you just need to have an arc on that point. Then let's move on to get 90. 90 is this line here. There's your 90. Place your compass on the center of your camshaft. Then let's move to 90. That's the 90 line. So I'm going to use that so that I can show an arc here that 
we need to have an arc on that position of 90. Now we will have an arc showing clearly. So you're going to repeat this until you go to 360. Repeating the same thing. Maybe let's just do uh, 120 now. Let's do one quickly to 120. 120 is here. There's 120. There we go. That's 120. We're here now on 120. Let's quickly make sure that we have an arc showing properly there. That's 120. We're at 120. Let's move this. We don't need that. And we don't need that. So now we don't need that. And there's our arc. Now, like I said, we need to complete this whole thing going around, going around until we get here. So I'm going to quickly do that. And then come back then we use our flexi curve to join the arcs after from all the arcs right now these are all my points which after bringing them to the vertical line i then move them to their respective divisions we said the 30 is already there now after having all these points all that you do now is to get yourself a flexi curve or even freehand from zero go to 30 60 go around 90 120 150 180 to 10 to 40 270 300 3 and that's 600 that's 300 and now finally this is what your cam profile looks like when the cam follower is at an angle or is at another division other than a vertical division like we said before this can be anyway it could be placed here you just treat that as a zero you still bring your lines to the vertical line then you swing them to a respective degrees thank you